Okay. So, dun muna po tayo sa first step. Generating ideas. And um, before we uh, proceed with the process, I I would just like to highlight the importance of ideas. So, ideas are at the core of um, any research and development process. And let me start by sharing this quote from Edward de Bono about ideas. So, ideas are the currency of success and they separate you from your competition. So, medyo para medyo business naman yung business yung context ng definition na yun. But this holds true at all levels. Kasi, for example, um, for students and teachers, you know, like you do research and you do ideation as part of science fairs or science investigatory project. And actually, medyo competitive yung landscape sa atin no, sa pag-perform ng research. Um, very recently lang po, na, nung nagbago yung curriculum, na talagang structured na yung capstone project na requirement na siya sa curriculum, hindi na siya competition. So, ang uh, gusto ko pong i-highlight sa inyo, uh, sa ating lahat ay, most progressive countries, yung pong most powerful countries in the world, what's driving their progress is their citizens' ability to come up with great ideas that they are able to leverage and apply to develop technologies that boost their economies. Ito po, kulang na, since kulang po tayo ng scientists, meaning po, kulang din po tayo sa ideas that get developed into technologies that, that can make the Philippines more prosperous. So ideas po, ito po ang currency ng Pilipinas sa success. And ma-share ko lang din po sa inyo, bakit po ba namin binuo ni JP ang Felsai Hub? Noon pong 2012, uh, we had a training program uh, in research sa Batanga City po. Uh, we had a one-day session with our teachers and Doon po namin nakita na talagang kulang na kulang din po sa training ng ating mga guru when it comes to research. Kasi po, ang karamihan po ng narinig naming question during the Q&A ni JP was, Sir, pahingi po ng topic. Bigyan niyo po kami ng topic. So, medyo na sa heart din po kami nun kasi ay mukhang medyo ano, kulang din po talaga sa experience siguro ang ating mga guru. Kaya po namin binuo ang Filipino Science Hub. And almost 14 years since the day, um, tuloy-tuloy po po tayo sa ating mga ginagawa and we are actually very glad to have all of you here kasi nakikita po namin that you are all hungry to learn more about um, scientific research. Alright? Okay. Question. O siguro po, ito, mag-aano ako na magtatanong sa inyo. Why is it difficult to come up with ideas? Why is ideation hard? Sige nga po, sabihin nyo nga po sa akin bakit kayo nahihirapan mag-generate ng ideas? Meron po ba? Kaya wala pang ano. Oh. Wala wala pa sa Hindi po ay mukhang hindi sila nahihirap. Kasi mahirap nga. <laughs> mahirap nga. <laughs> bakit 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 pa so, sa idea? Okay. As time goes by, more and more ideas are generated, lessening opportunities for novel ideas. That's actually true. Your lowest low hanging fruits, there's not a lot of low hanging fruits anymore. Um sometimes it's because we are overwhelmed with all of the ideas that we do not know where to start. Yeah, and students are conditioned to just receive information. Very good point. Um, limited exposure of students to different re uh, or recent scientific researches, so access the basa literature, identify a problem that is needed to be addressed. Students are not fully aware of the issues to be addressed. Very important point. Pag uusapan po natin yung mamaya. Generating ideas needs someone to read a lot. Huh, very important. Lack of research knowledge, trainings, and or foundation. Babaguhin natin yan. Resources to process the methodology and procedures are difficult to come by. So, abay, uh, ang gaganda ng mga sagot naman nila. Like, really highly mm -hmm. reasonable. Okay. So, pero siguro yung eto mga concerns rin na to actually point to, siguro medyo sa downstream steps na, no? yung review of literature, access to information, and even like designing yung, yung experiments. But then, ang... ang Siguro, at those also tie up to, kapag aware ka sa nangyayari sa field, then it's much easier to ideate. Topic should be aligned with national research agenda. Naku, pero po akong slide na nakahanda sa inyo. Actually, hinanda yun ni JP. <laughs> Ayan. Alright. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga sagot. Broadly speaking, um, it is very difficult to 
uh, come up with ideas because meron pong notion ang mga tao that great ideas are hard to find. So dito papasok yung sinabi ni Sir, I forgot his name, that ang dami ng ideas na na-generate, medyo bihira na rin yung ideas, which is actually true. Nung panahon nila Einstein, nung panahon nila Eisenberg, ang dami pa po nating hindi naiintindihan. But then, since sobra pong bilis ng development rin and progress natin in the areas of research and development, ngayon po, ang konti na rin po natin, ang konti na rin po ng opportunities for us to come up with something that's all original. And we'll talk about that when we talk about creativity. Secondly, it is hard to come up with ideas because it requires identifying a problem to solve. Sinabi rin po yun ng ating mga ano kanina ng uh, ilang sagot dun sa, during the question. Kasi paano mo malalaman? Ano ba yung problema? But then I will also give you some tips on how to identify problems that you can solve to make sure that you are uh, doing research on something that is important or relevant. Third, how does our environment nurture ideas? Okay, it is very important. Sinabi kanina, students are conditioned to just receive information. Okay. Mahirap pong mag-come up ng ideas if the environment that we foster inside the classroom ay hindi po nag-nurture ng ideas. So meaning, hindi po, walang, walang, uh, hindi komportable ang mga estudyante magbigay ng ideas kasi baka mapahiya, baka pagalitan ng teacher, or baka po nasanay rin ang, ang ating research advisors na kung ano yung naiisip nila, yun yung gagawin ng estudyante. Kapag po ganun yung approach niyo that you are imposing and that you are not really collaborating on how the idea is developing, that is a natural killer of creativity. All right? And then uh, last, some ideas may require resources and expertise that may may not have access to. So lahat po ng no, mga isinagot ninyo ay nandito po. Yan po yung mga natural barriers kung bakit po tayo hindi makakamap ng ideas. Kasi bakit ko pa ito sisimulan? Hindi ko naman alam kung, kung pwede kong gawin. Ayan. Sabi ni J. Ben Lotion, ideation is not the hard part. It is how you defend the relevance and need to pursue the idea that makes one decide to not pursue the idea but to be honest that is also partly that is also part of ideation kasi ang gusto ko lang din pong ituro sa inyo ito this is also a challenge among scientists even among some of the world's leading scientists may notion po kasi ang mga researchers na just because you have thought of a catchy title people think that that's a good idea no an idea is clearly defined it is focused and actionable if your if your idea cannot be directly um, translated into a set of action plan that is not a good idea okay so yun po yung gusto ko ring ituro sa inyo a catchy title does not translate to a good idea all right pag-uusapan po natin yan all right so oh, bakit ako bumalik <laughs> <laughs> 